Hello, my name is Tibby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is going to be my first ever manga haul video. So pretty exciting. I just got uh, a right stuff order package in the mail, as well as today I went out and did like a very, it was very small hunt. Just went to my nearby half price books to see what they had in stock. And I found a really cool pickup. So I wanted to share that as well. Uh, as well as an Amazon order for a just a single volume of a series that I'm really, really close to finishing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the haul. So I figured for this, I would just go ahead and do a voiceover. I <laughs> figured it'd be easier. So the first volume in this haul is Hunter Hunter Volume 12. If you've recently watched my collection video, then you would know I have them all except for volumes 12 and 24. So I was very happy I was able to pick this up. And the next series in this haul are some random volumes that I found of Flame of Rekka. Volumes 1, 9, 12, 13, 20, 21, and 22. This is an older uh, Shonen series that ran in Weekly Shonen Sunday, which is the same magazine that has currently has Call of the Night, Fly Me to the Moon, Fryer and Beyond Journey's End, and has hosted a lot of other popular Shonen series in the past. I've heard a lot of good things about this series, and I believe this is the same mangaka that created Mare. I believe this was uh, his first series, and then he went on to create Mare. Um, which was an old tsunami show that I remember watching back in the day. But yeah, I was very happy to find this and I had a 10% coupon that was going to expire June 31st. So perfect timing and perfect find. And so now we're moving on to my Right Stuff anime order. This was mainly filled with ongoing series that I'm currently collecting. And so the first one here, we're looking at Bakamonogatari, volumes 13 and 14. The story is originally a, a light novel, and this manga adaptation is being done by Oh Great, who is one of my favorite mangakas. Uh, he's created Air Gear and Tengo, Tenjo Tenge. The story of Bakamonogatari is all right. It's very bizarre, um, but I'm mainly continuing to collect it because of Oh Great's artwork which is, again, amazing. Next up is Sailor Moon, a classic, volume eight. This is my sister's favorite anime series, and I've watched the anime a very long time ago, but I've been really wanting to read the manga because I've never done so before. So I'm pretty close to collecting them all. Next up is volume three of So I'm a Spider, So What? The Daily Lives of the Komoko Sisters. This is just a spin-off series of the So My Spider So What manga. I enjoy the anime. I've enjoyed the manga so far, so I wanted to give these a shot too. Next is volume two of Alhara Ride. This is a shoujo that I've heard a lot about, a lot of great things, and I've wanted to give it the, the three volume try. I only have volumes one and two, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start reading them now. But uh, yeah, again, I've heard really great things about it and I've been wanting to get more shoujo in my collection, so a very happy addition there. Next up is volume four of The Dangers in My Heart. This is, I guess, a cute rom-com. The main character has evil plans, like plots for the people that bully him. But as he meets this girl who's a model student, he slowly starts gaining feelings for her. So those murderous intents are kind of battling his love or eventual love for this person. So it's, it's an interesting read. Next is E. McCoy, Volume 2, another shoujo to add to the collection. Uh, there are only two volumes out so far, so I wanted to get the second one so I can read one and two together. Uh, again, I've heard good things about this series. Uh, I've been wanting to get more shoujo and Jose in my collection to make it more varied. So excited to read these first two volumes and figure out if I want to keep collecting it or get rid of it. Next is Gigant Volume 8 by Hiroya Oku, the same mangaka as Gantz. Now, I've been reading this as I've been getting the new volumes as they've been releasing every month or so, and it is just wild, and I've been really enjoying it. Long story short, a porn star gets the ability to turn into a giant, and she fights giant devils, so it's 
very interesting and it has that gaunt feel to it as well next is volume four of does a hot elf live next door to you this has been a pretty interesting series this is in the the ghost ship section but it's not really that smutty i would say at least in my opinion um, it's about a person who, a guy who's trying to be a mangaka but his life gets interrupted by this hot elf that moved in next door to him Next is the latest omnibus of Shaman King, uh, has volumes 25 through 27. I believe there are going to be at least three more omnibuses, so excited to have the complete collection for Shaman King. I wish it were the singles, but they're basically impossible to get. And this newer version should also have the, the latest uh, ending adapted, which will be the first time it will be adapted in English, so really cool there. Next up is volume two of Alice in Borderland. Now I have not watched the anime, nor have I finished reading the first volume, but uh, Hara Aso is the same mangaka that's made Zom 100. And I love Zom 100. And I've liked kind of what I've read so far of, of the volume of volume one of Alice in Borderland. So I'll read one and two first. And if I like them, then I will continue getting the rest of the series. But it's basically a death game of sorts. These three kids, they're living boring lives and they wish they were more entertaining. And so they get their wish granted. They're sent to a post-apocalyptic world and they have to survive by clearing these games. So very interesting premise. Next is volume five of When Will Ayumu Make His Move? This is a cute rom-com between these two characters, Yaotome, the girl on the left, and Ayumu on the right. Ayumu wants to confess his feelings to Yaotome, but he's only going to do it once he beats her in a game of shogi, which he is a beginner, he's just learning how to do it. So I'm, I've just started reading this recently and I've been really enjoying it. So I definitely recommend it to anyone looking for a new rom-com. Now, speaking of bad rom-coms, this is Rent a Girlfriend, volume 13. The second season of the anime just came out and I can't lie, I'm actually pretty excited to watch it this season. Rent a Girlfriend isn't bad, it's just a meme to hate on it, but it's just going on for way too long at this point. Next are volumes 12 and 11 of Hell's Paradise, Jigoku Raku. Uh, this completes my collection for Hell's Paradise. So now I have all 13 volumes and now I am excited to start reading it or finishing. I've read the first two volumes, really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to binge it all, which is my per preferred way of reading. Here is volume nine of Witch Hat Atelier. Now I've been continuing to collect this series, although I haven't really been reading it. I've just been reading other series instead, um, just prioritizing other series. But this series is, it's really good. It's gotten a lot of awards. Everyone that has caught up is, it raves about how good it is. So I know it's a good series. and I know I want to have it in my collection. Uh, I just need to get back to resume reading it. Next up is volume seven, the final volume of If I Could Reach You. This is a Yuri series where our main character is gaining feelings for her brother's wife. And as she's seeing like ripples in their marriage, it's kind of making it harder for her to uh, just making it more difficult for her to understand her feelings about her. So it's a it's kind of dramatic, spicy in that way. It's not like etchy or anything like that, but definitely a really good dramatic ride next is volume four of solo leveling this is a webtoon and it's it's really cool because these uh, versions come in all color which i'm pretty sure is what it is in, in the original webtoon so yeah and this just got announced recently that uh it's going to be getting an anime adaptation so really stoked for that and then finally is volume five of fist of the north star in these hardcover editions which Viz did such a great job with these. And it's also really cool because there's even some color pages in it as well. So really loved how these editions turned out. So this is a small haul that I got the next day. Uh, moving training companies in my area had a buy two get one free deal. So with it, I got volumes three and four of the Seven Deadly Sins Omnibuses. I got Devilman, uh, the newest print, uh, volume one. 
Notice that it wasn't in stock on right stuff. So went ahead and got this with the deal. So really happy about that. Now I thought this was wild. So this is a used copy of Blom volume four. As you can see though, there isn't really a lot of wear or tear on it at all really. Maybe some at the top of the spine, but it, for me it's not that big of a deal. But this is only $10. And this is normally priced at 35. So I was like, okay, I have to get this. And it turns out I only had volume one and there's only six total. So I was like, all right, so let's get this too. And then because of that, I went ahead and got this Death Note uh, short stories collections. It's about four or five uh, like epilogue chapters uh, set in the Death Note universe. And then I also went and got volume eight of Toilet Bound Hanukkah-kun. But uh, this is a series that I'm like, I think I have like 50, 60 percent of, about half. And uh, which is decided I'd go ahead, since I'm already getting one for free, I'll go ahead and get a volume that I don't have. So we are now to the final piece of the haul in, in our video for today. Thank you so much for sticking around and, and watching and, and listening. I'm hoping you're enjoying what you're seeing. And maybe you've gotten some pretty cool recommendations. And But we are not done because we have the final Rights of Anime order as well as a Half Price Books pickup that I found today. So we'll start with the Half Price Books pickups. And let me tell you, I was not expecting to see all of this uh, from the same place that I got earlier in the video, the Flame Eureka. And turns out, I guess they just finished putting the rest of it on the shelf. And so when I went, when I went back, and a big shout out to my friend Jeremiah from My Wife and Me. Turns out they had the rest of it. So what you're seeing here on the screen is just going to be a bunch of random volumes of Flame Eureka. So there is volume 24, 25, volume 30, 27, volume 26, volume four, volume five, eight, six, three, two, 18, 17, 16, 28, 15, 14, 23, 19, and a super cool added bonus. I was also able to find volumes two and three of Ginkaku Picasso, a really short Shonen, weekly Shonen Jump series. So the numbers are all over the place, but here is what I have currently. Again, only missing seven, 10, 11, 29, 31 through 33. So already super close to finishing it. So super happy about that. So now we are moving on to the rights of anime order. And I have to warn, this is a warning. I did order a lot of Nasty Man series, so I will not be showing them because the covers are just, they're wild. So, so you might notice some extra books gone as I'm showing them, so that's why. So first is Blood on the Tracks, Volume 9 by Shuzo Oshimi. And then Volumes 1 and 2 of Sensei's Pious Lie by Akane Torikai, which I believe is the wife of Inu Asano. Volume 7 of Blue Period. I believe this leaves off right where the anime ended, which I highly recommend you watch the anime if you haven't. Next is volume one of Wand Dance. This kind of gives me the same vibes as Dance Dance Dancer, which was an anime that aired last season. Um, person discovers a love for break dancing. So it sounds like a really cool story. This is volume 11 of Gleipner. This cover is probably my favorite cover because that character looks badass. <laughs> the Great Jahi Will Not Be Defeated, volume three. I watched all of the anime. It came out last year, really enjoyed it. It's basically a reverse isekai slice of life where she's no longer the ruler of the demon realm and she has to work a nine to five. This is another volume of When Will Ayumi Make His Move? This is volume six. This is Kaiji, Gamely Apocalypse, volume three. This is just like if you watched Tomodachi Game, which is an anime series that debuted this season. It's kind of similar where people are in debt and they have to play Gamely games in order to help get rid of it. Here is Vampire Night Memories Volume 7. 
this is a sequel series to Vampire Night and tells the stories that happened during the thousand years of Kaname's slumber in ice. Next is volume one of The Elusive Samurai, the newest printed manga from Weekly Shonen Jump. It's a currently running series, and it's like a historical manga loosely based on the stories of Hojo Tokiyuki. Volume two of Daily Report about my witch senpai. It's like a classic, like typical office romance, except the catch is the girl character is a witch. Now, this is the only nasty series I wanted to show in this haul, but uh, this is Who Wants to Marry a Billionaire, Volumes 1 through 3. This is up to date. And basically, picture Bachelor, Bachelorette, but in order to go through, like, the challenges are, like, super sexual. So I just thought it was a very interesting premise, so I definitely wanted to check it out. And here are Volumes 9 through 12 of Sailor Moon. Now this is complete in my collection, so very excited to add this to my TBR list. And it's only 12 volumes, and it's so it, it's much shorter than I thought it was. I for some reason thought it was like a 20 plus volume series. But uh, you know, shout out to the sis, your boys got all of Sailor Moon, so really happy to start reading that pretty soon. Volume two of Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. This kind of reminds me of like Komi Can't Communicate or Ahar and San is indecipherable where there's a character that has some kind of like social debuff and another character, another character is able to communicate with them and they kind of form some kind of romance. Here is volume two of the Adat and Deities Know Only Peace. Now I watched the anime for this last year and really, enjo really enjoyed it, really loved it. Map did a great job. And the manga is also enjoyable. I think I prefer the anime just because the animation goes hard, but uh, I do want to keep collecting it just because I'm a fan of this series. Here is volume four of Hiki Hero, a super long title. After being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. So if that's exactly what the premise is. This also had an anime that debuted last year. I enjoy the anime, although it was like, pretty baity with its plot but you know, overall I liked it for what it was and finally is volume 5 of the Apothecary Diaries this is a seinen series that follows the story of Mau Mau who is an apothecary that is enslaved and must work for a royal family and that is it. So again, thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you think of today's haul. And if you hopefully you found something that you might like, or if you have any recommendations for me, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, again, this is Tibby. Thank you so much. Have a good one.